Well, the governor's point made on the state's failing unemployment system wants us to scrutinize and question what they're doing. And I can't express enough. Hold us accountable. And to that end, we'll start with the state's phone system. You call, you get the recording, it disconnects. Well, a lot of you waiting for benefits say you call the call center, you wind up waiting for hours, and then when you do get somebody, the call goes something like this. Um, they list two phone numbers. One goes directly to the British woman telling us they're not going to take the phone call <laughs> and then hangs up on you. Um, and then the other one takes you to a phone tree. Um, and then once you go through the phone tree, then it takes you to the British woman saying they're not going to take your phone call and then it hangs up on you. Yeah, and the state committed up to $110 million beefing up the call center and viewers say it's still overwhelmed. And what's the best time to call? So uh, I don't know about call times. And that brings us to the flood of denied claims. The state has denied nearly 40% of the unemployment claims it's processed, and viewers are convinced they were wrongly denied but say they don't know how to file an appeal. There are lots of ways where we can do better is making sure people understand what those reasons for uh, why they're ineligible, and also at the same time providing them with an easy vehicle to make an appeal if an appeal is warranted. What is that appeals process? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, there is a process for filing an appeal. The state spells that part out, but viewers are telling us they're getting denied without reason. They're not getting the information they need to start an appeal. They say they can't get answers, and state lawmakers say they can't even get answers either. It doesn't seem there's an appeal process. We're trying to find out what that is, or should they just go back in the system and put their name back in again? We can't get an answer on that. We're waiting. Well, the unfortunate truth for the near 40% who have been denied unemployment benefits during the pandemic is that the state denies up to 40% of the claims during normal times. Likely a lot of people are getting disqualified by the arbitrary rules that calculate how much work you did. It's a tangle of formulas and rules that reject you in ways that are frustrating and very confusing. For example, they base your eligibility on something called your base period, which is convoluted in its own right. The base period is the first 12 months of the last 15 months. You can listen to explanations of that base period over and over again. From today's point uh, back to four months ago from today, and it's the last 12 months before that. And still not be able to make heads or tails of it. So I'll take today's date and I go back 15 months, but then cut out the last three. So it's really month four through the last 15th month. All that said, in sorting through the calls and emails we're getting from so many of you at this point, the problems that people are having with the unemployment system generally fall into three groups. The first group includes those who are still waiting to get approved or waiting to get paid. Your problem is that you're caught up in the backlog. I have not yet gotten a payment for any of the unemployment. The second group is made up of those who believe they were wrongly denied for lack of prior wages or work history. For this group, keep in mind if you filed in March, the state includes your work situation from the fall of 2018 and could disqualify you based on that. So if you're in the second group, you can try to reapply now when the state is no longer looking at 2018 as it determines eligibility. That brings us to the third group. It's made up of all the part-time workers, the independent contractors, and gig workers. You lost work during the pandemic and still cannot get those $600 weekly checks from the federal government under the CARES Act. It said that I can reapply, but why would I have to reapply when I've already done it and I've already waited almost a month? If you fall in this group, File for unemployment benefits through the state. You will be ruled ineligible. But what they really mean by that is that you're denied state benefits, not necessarily the extended federal benefits. So if you filed after April 5th, go back and take another look at your claim. You should see a link on the left side of the page to apply for the federal pandemic unemployment assistance. Click it, submit another claim through that, and you could be good to go. Now, if you applied before April 5th, you likely won't see that link. In your case, apply again, wait to get rejected for state benefits again, then look for the link to apply again, this time for the $600 weekly checks from the feds. Seriously, like a circus, like they're making us jump through hoops just to get an application in. While some of you have called that madness, and 
others have called it things we can't say on broadcast TV, many of you are already reapplying and telling us you're hitting the same old roadblocks. By advising so many people they just denied to reapply, it's creating more traffic on the state's $77 million unemployment system, which the governor calls a jalopy and a clunker. This system is, is a bad system. And that brings us to other stuff the state still has to fix. Unresolved issue one, many of you have been classified as active and ineligible. Well, that's a technical problem. The state is working to resolve that one. Unresolved issue two, some of you have exhausted state benefits and cannot get access to the extended $600 weekly federal benefits. That also is a state issue. Believe it or not, Florida is still not equipped to get people who exhausted their state benefits access to the federal benefits they are due. We are building the system to be able to accept those applications. Unresolved issue number three is that many of you are not getting your benefits backdated to when you lost your job as the state said you would. You should get this, but it's also a work in progress. We're building out the tool for people to do that. We hope or hopefully we'll be able to launch that uh, very, very soon. And that brings us back to the state's request for scrutiny. And I can't express enough. Hold us accountable. And that's exactly what we'll continue to do as people continue to struggle and wait for the help they need.